I've got a series of data here, and it includes a salesperson's name, a state, as well as sales figures. And what I want to do is I want to turn this information into a table. So what I can do is I can select all of these cells and have that done automatically for me. Under the Home tab, I'll click the drop down where it says Format as a Table, and I'll choose any one of these tables that we see here. I'll go ahead and choose this one. And I'm just going to leave the defaults that you see and click OK. So now I can go in and I can change the names that you see here into what I wanted to say. So for instance, I can say sales and the next one will say state. And then after that, January, and I'll fill in the rest for you here and go all the way to July. So this will automatically uh, create our table. We can go ahead and put in our headers. And one of the other nice things about tables, besides just the fact that it looks better, is that we can also use it to filter data. So for instance, if I want to hit the drop down under the salespeople, I could uncheck some people. I'll just uncheck the bottom three, for instance, click OK. And now it just shows me the first three salespeople instead of everyone. And I could go back in and I could choose to clear the filter so everybody shows back up again as well. And I can do that same thing with all of these other columns as well. Now, if you already have headers in your table, then you can do this a little bit differently. So let's go over to a different sheet. So what we can do is we can highlight the area that we want the table and we can go back to where it says format as a table. Again, we'll select our table that we want and leave the box check that says my table has headers already. So we click OK and look at that. It just goes in and puts them into that header role. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to make it a little bit easier to read. There we go. But we can do the same things that we could on the other one. We can hit the drop down and we can filter out data if we want. And uh, it just gives us a, a much cleaner, better look than just going ahead and typing that data in. So that's how we insert a table into a set of data that's already in a Microsoft Excel workbook.